What's going on, Hardcores and Casuals? Where you come and issue another Vegeta review on this nice cold day in November. As you can see, Bandai and Presto once again published this. Burning Fighters Volume 2 from Dragon Ball Z. Look at that box ass, man. He's got them hams, though, man. He's been doing, well, you would assume he's been doing some squats. And that diamond back, very nice, man. Already I can tell the sculpt is pretty decent. As you can see, the little teaser for other type of figures they have. Only two. Bandai Spirits. Oop. Vegeta Feet. Okay. Let's see. Seal of Approval. Region 2. All right. Let's open her up. Nice and easy. As y'all know, this is a big figure, so I will be giving this away to one of my subscribers slash viewers. Remember, guys, there's always three tapes. Don't bust your boxes open due to excitement. Some people use a thinner blade, but I'm not too detailed on that. I don't think I'm going to rip it open too bad. Now, the problem with sometimes this part right here, it's a little rough. See how it does that fold right there? It's annoying as fuck, especially for collectors. But as you saw in my last one, the Goku came out flawlessly. All right, let's open her up. Classic cardboard, of course. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, there we go. Put you there. Let's see. Okay, good. Ooh, nice. Came out very smooth. Play by play action. Your stand, of course, very typical of a lot of Bandai in general. They give you the triple piece. It's not very aired, surprisingly. It is sealed, though, to be safe. Oh. Is your air holes, that's obvious. <laughs> All right, let's open it up. You notice I'm trying a new lighting today. Not white light, but closer to yellow light. See how it turns out. Get your little feet out. Not bad. This light really brings out the shadows, doesn't it? Let's see. Yep, passes the stand test. The Goku one from last time actually passed, passed a disbalance test, which is pretty impressive, really. Kudos to the build of the figure. Let's get Vegeta out over here. Got a little careful. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Anyway. Let's do this Then we have our stand, our base, if you will. All right, let's see how you go. Maybe like that. Huh. Kind of slanted. Let's see. There. There. Or is it... There. There. I think it's like that. Yeah. That's what I'm feeling. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Nice and snug. Here we go. Not bad. It's not as tight as the Goku figure, but it's still pretty solid. I can definitely feel it. You can't break it or anything. Just on, on that note, though, anytime you have pegs, plastic pegs, put through the actual, the tang, if you will, into the actual figure itself, be careful when, you know, when any kind of impact, because it can break right off and get stuck in the figure. You have to pull it out with some pliers. All right. On to the review. This figure is not bad. Look at it. Very sharp. Very nice details. When you look at the face right here, you can see all the cheekbones and the little tiny indentions. And you see a little bit of shadowing on his little his little scowl that he typically has. That kind of mild, irritated look. Little sharp nose. The sculpt is really nice. Now, it kind of captures the original Vegeta. Now, what I mean by that is, he's a small framed guy. I don't know if you noticed, but like, look how thin they made him. Almost too thin, in my opinion. But it makes his head look disproportionate. But his head has always kind of been the biggest part of his body, if you will. And uh, Saiyan suit, of course, without the shoulder pads. Very ripped, well sculpted. I do like how they brush the colors on here. So it looks a little more like he's being really chiseled. Maybe a little more. You know, some people are vascular, but not ripped. It's kind of like that. You have good calves. See the, the rips in between. The hamstrings. Of course, the booty. One day. <laughs> huh. I'm not sure if I like that. Made in China. They had to put it right on the back there. 
Uh, I won't deduct points, but that's not cool, man. They should have put that on the foot or something, to be honest with you, on the bottom. That diamond's looking sexy, though, man. The shadows are perfect, man. This is definitely great. I'm glad I showed this in yellow light. It looks really nice. It really highlights all the little lines and details. If anything, you'd, you'd want it more detailed. Small hips. But like I said, he's got the X-Men look. What I mean by that is, see how you come here? It's a cross. So your X is thinnest in the middle, and then you're coming out, obviously, in the form of the X. If you had bigger shoulders, it'd be a little more obvious. Probably like a Broly figure. But yeah, man, not bad. I do wish there was a little more to this. Uh, the light actually makes it look better, in my opinion. The blue is a little slightly off. It's a little lighter if you see it in person. But the yellow light's making this look fantastic, man. If you were trying to pose to sell, this would be it. Uh, the skin is slightly more peach than it looks. The hair is really nice. It's it's kind of a charcoal black, and in person, it looks really rich. It's really nice. I don't like that lining. You can see this lining right here. That's where they put it together. These are nitpicks. Don't get me wrong. If you're a Vegeta fan, I definitely I would recommend this one. He's super thin, though. It's it's interesting how artists have different opinions on what should be kind of um, exposed, like 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 accented or, or really highlighted as a primary visual. And as you can see, um, I guess the Japanese are just they're more they're more they're more secure in the upper body look you know what i mean because obviously if you do this much squats to have these hams your butt would probably be a little bigger again these are just nitpicks just something interesting commentary if you will damn no dimples <laughs> lost two points off just playing anyway as you can see overall good figure not bad um there are way better vegeta figures out there but this one's really cool this one um it has potential. You can tell these guys had some good ideas, and they kind of wanted... But it also feels like they'd rush this out. This is not the worst figure I've ever seen. I wouldn't say, like... Yeah, if they did this rush, they had some good ideas, man. They should have stayed in the in the shop for a couple more months and really worked. Maybe add some more to the sides right here. Maybe just a little more muscles to his arms, because his arms make it... They're really small. It's one of those things you have to see in person. From a distance, this is a very good shelf figure. And, uh, and this would catch any Vegeta, uh, any Vegeta player's attention, if you will. This is uh, definitely in the Vegeta collection, if you're a Vegeta fan. Uh, the shadows alone are like are like a nine, man. I really do like how the just putting them in the simple lighting really accents them. So you can pose them in certain ways like that, and it just looks good. He just looks good from a distance, man. And if you're buying figures for your shelf, which unfortunately half the time that's what it is, this is definitely figured I'd have on my shelf. You know what I mean? Guarding my sacred form. No, just kidding, guys. By the way, not bad, huh? I would probably give this uh, probably a 7.5. There's no way you can deduct it. It's, it's a little beyond mediocre, but definitely not in the top, top Vegeta figures, man. Uh, Bandai, uh, Bam, uh, Bampresto has come up with way, way top Vegeta figures. They just don't come up with them as often, man. It's like once in a blue moon, ah, something just pops, and they'll have this really shredded vicious looking vegeta man and not always not vicious like always like brutality just something like something that just look really badass where you just see it a mile away but to be fair this is one again i am repeating myself a little bit but this does stand out look at those shadows i won't argue with that man that is the best part about this figure is that i can pose him in almost any lighting and i'll get something out of it which i really that's that is a plus for artists and people who are trying to show off their figures well, anyway, guys, before I go, I will announce one more turnaround. Work with me. There we go. Bam. <laughs> it's that blue steel, baby. Angry blue steel. Well, anyway, thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, you know, God bless and whatnot. And uh, fortunate it's really late. I'm super tired, but uh, I just wanted to get this in. As soon as I can, I dedicate this figure to a good friend of mine. Um, you know, he's always been there for me. He's so young and useful, man. You know, he's always coming up with these great ideas. He just reminds me when I was younger. And I wish him the best, man. He's an incredible kickboxer, man. He's doing well in the military. And I hope he goes far in life. And uh, I've heard this was one of his favorite figures. And so I had to go out of my way to kind of get it for him. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, showcase the world and those who watch YouTube particularly. <laughs> This nice Vegeta figure by Bandai. So, um, how do I say this? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, damn it, guys. Anyway, uh, yeah, man, Trey, thanks for everything. Seriously. Thanks for being in my life. Thanks for hanging out with me when, time, when the time was right. You know what I mean? And thanks for making my life easier in the military. All right? 
Well, you take care, guys, all right? And uh, shit, peace out, guys.